Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. So let us continue the journey to learn exception handling in Java programming language. In the previous video sessions, we have covered multiple examples of exception handling using try and catch block. In today's session, we will learn what is a finally block and how finally keyword can be used to manage and handle exceptions in Java. So here you can understand with the help of this programming example where we have taken the input from the user using a scanner object and we are trying to display that value. So let us run this program. Let's see what will be the output of it. So here you will enter any number like four and it is displaying the values and your program is perfectly fine. But whenever you will run this program again and the user will enter some string in place of a numeric value like it will enter five. And you can see the Java runtime system is throwing an exception of type java.util.input mismatch exception and your program is immediately terminated and the expected output is not displayed. So how to manage that type of exceptions? So that type of exceptions can be managed using a try and catch block, you know very well. So how to use it? You will just use try. You will use try and catch block. So try block contains those statements that may generate some exceptions. You will just remove these content from here to the try block. The scanner object you can create outside. There is no need to write inside try block. Now inside a try block, you are asking to enter a number from the user. And you are displaying that value inside the catch you will be handle it so here if you will enter the inappropriate value means you will not enter a numeric value from the user the java runtime system will throw an exception of type input mismatch exceptions and that can be handled using a try that can be handled using a catch block you can write input mismatch exceptions and Inside it, you can display some message. So I, I will just copy from here and I will just write. I will just write a message. Please enter a numeric value, right? Please enter a numeric value or you can just display the information of an exception using the object E here, right? So your exception is handled perfectly. Let us run this program and let's see what will be the output of it. Run this and if you will enter like 5, you can see it will display a message. Please enter a numeric value and this is the information of an object that contains java.util.input mismatch exceptions and it is displaying simple exiting an application so this program is perfectly fine and your exception is handled and managed by try and catch block but what is the use of finally block here and how the finally block will help to display some messages or to display some information in the programming code so let us understand what is a finally block so the finally block contains the code or it can contain some statements that is always executed after a try and catch block regardless of whether an exception was thrown or caught. What is the meaning of it? It mean is, its meaning is finally block always executed whether an exception is generated or not. So let me just add a finally block after try and catch. So here, let me add a finally block and I will display some message inside it. Means the program is over, right? program is over. So let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it. So here you can see you will enter some number like three. You will see what is the output of it. It will display the number and it will just, there is no exception occurred inside a try block. So it will not move to the catch. It will come to the finally block and it will display the program is over and then exiting application. Let us rerun this program and you will pass some different value like we will pass a five. And now 
this try block will generate some exception and that exception will be handled by a catch and here it will display please enter a numeric value and then the finally block will be executed and then exiting application so you have seen in this example means if whether the try block will raise exceptions or not the finally block will always be executed so what is the purpose of it and what is the use of it let us try to understand so you can see the second point here the finally block is used to perform some cleanup operations around the code like it is used to free some resources being held by some objects like closing file stream objects or to close a database connections so here you can see you have created a input you have created a scanner object that is a scanner and whenever you will move your mouse over it you can see the resource leak scanner never closed so inside the final statement you can just close some open connections so i can write the scanner dot close inside it so whenever you will run it you can see the compiler will not show any warning and whenever you will run this program so there will not be a change in the output right you can see the exception is handled and finally bloke has closed the scanner objects and displayed a message the program is over and exiting the applications so this is the one use of finally block that can use to perform some cleanup operations like closing some streams object closing some uh, scanner objects or it can use to close some database objects okay so let me just show you here can we add some operations can we add some statement after try or catch let me just help and let me just check here so if you will try to add some statement after a try catch so here you can see the compiler will complain so what is the complaint here you can see the complaint is syntax error insert finally to complete try statement so after a try or you can say between try and catch you can't add any statement okay or in the similar way let us check can we add some statement between catch and finally so let's see so here you can see the compiler is complaining the syntax error on token finally delete this token so we can't add any statement between try and catch also or you can't add any statement between the catch and finally statement okay this is the one use of finally the second use is means the second thing is can we use try without catch or finally let me just remove this part okay so here you can see the compiler is complaining now the syntax error insert finally to complete try statement so you can't use a try statement without catch or finally so let me just undo these changes can we use finally without can we use finally without catch so let me just check it let me remove this catch block and let's check this program is perfectly fine or not yes now the compiler is not complaining for anything so i have removed the catch handler and i have just added a finally block after a try so let me just see what is the output of it let us run this application and you will see what is the output enter any number like three you can see program is perfectly fine it doesn't have any problem here right let us run it again and generate some exceptions here you will enter like a string two and let's see what is the output of it yes here whenever you are just entering any string so now the java runtime system is raising an ap application but still the finally block is executed right you can see you have to focus on this part means the exception is raised or not inside a try block the finally block will always be executed and why this exception is thrown because we have not added any catch to handle the exceptions so what is the meaning of it if you will write a finally block corresponding to a try block so if the try block will not have any exceptions 
so it is perfectly fine there is no issue in it the finally block will just execute it and if try block will have an exceptions so that exceptions will not be handled by finally block because the exception handler is known as the catch block so your exception will not be handled but the finally block will display some messages so even finally block will be executed whether an exception is raised or not and this is a very important thing right to understand so if some exception will not be handled using a catch block you or you would like to display some messages to the developer or the user or the programmer you can display those messages inside a finally block so they can understand what is the region and some messages inside it right so this is the use of a try catch and finally block or you can use try with finally right but you have to remember that the last point is try statement must have one catch or finally without catch or finally you can't use try block alone in the programs so i hope you understand the concept of try block catch block and the finally block and you understand what is the important role of finally block so finally block always executed whether an exception is raised or not inside a try block so through which you can display some messages to the users so i hope you understand this part and you enjoyed the journey of the exception handling so in the next session we will come with the new video sessions of the exception handling so bye bye for now thanks for watching this video happy journey have a good day